The beaches of Farion National Park are perfect for lots of activities. But the park's facilities are being put to the test by coastal erosion. We know that one of the causes is the climate change. Because of it, our winters are milder, so there is less ice on the shores to protect it from the storms. But there's another important cause of the accentuated erosion, and it's the infrastructure themselves, like a riprap built along the shores. Riprap has an impact on beaches in dynamic environments or when there are strong waves. When waves break on natural beaches, the beach absorbs the energy of the wave across a fairly big distance. But when a wave hits a rigid structure like a riprap or a wall, its energy is dissipated upwards or downwards, often both, which causes backwash. When it moves upwards, it can overflow and submerge part of the shoreline. And when it moves downwards, it can drain the sediment at the base of the riprap and pull it out to sea. This lowers the beach and makes the shoreline even more vulnerable to future storms, which will roll in with even more energy and have an even greater impact, intensifying erosion and, in extreme cases, damaging the riprap. Thanks to research carried out at Forion by l'Université du Québec à Rimouski, Parks Canada was able to identify appropriate area to build infrastructure adapted to coastline. Avec les, euh, les études euh, et les projections de Lucar, UCAR studies and projections show that by 2050, the spot where our former service building stood on Penoy Point will be underwater due to rising sea levels. The service building has already been badly damaged by waves and storms. So we built a new building in a zone UCAR identified as stable. As for the point's access road, the best solution was to replace the regular asphalt and fill material with a raised boardwalk that didn't interfere with the isthmus or the movement of the waves. For Cap des Rosiers, we also had to move the Carrick Shipwreck Monument to protect it from storms. In the same area, the work to be done mostly involves dismantling the road that ran along the coast, dismantling the riprap that protected the road, and reshaping the banks. The new stretch of Highway 132 has been moved further inland, nearer the forest, away from the dynamic coastal zone. With the riprap gone, there's a good chance that the coastline will recede and take its natural shape again, but probably further inland. During all those years that erosion was being controlled, there probably would have been some gradual natural erosion. Removing the riprap in one go is obviously going to reshape the shoreline and cause it to recede. But as I mentioned, it will take its natural shape, the material that's eroded from the surrounding cliffs will replenish the beach, so there won't be that backwash effect. The return of a long beach at Cap des Rosiers will delight citizens, visitors and even fishes. Indeed, the Caplain will once again find an habitat to lay its eggs into the beach gravel. But retrofitting current infrastructure to adapt to erosion isn't enough. We also need to restore the environment by replanting natural vegetation. Farion Coastal Ecosystem Restoration Program includes plantation uh, principally of uh, seagrass lime shoots. This plant has an extensive root system that helps stabilize the soil. So when the asphalt and some buildings will be removed, uh, we will be able to uh, proceed to those plantations. With the natural slope and the combination of those plants that stabilize the soil, it will help to uh, control the energy of the waves and to make our restoration more effective on the long term.
by building infrastructure suited to coastline and by returning beaches to their natural state, Farian National Park is giving visitors the chance to continue to enjoy the seashores and is protecting the natural and cultural resources found there. The conclusion is simple. The more natural a beach is, the more it will be able to withstand erosion.